Hi everyone, so this is a video I'm pretty excited about. So this will be a video about assembling the X-Winder and doing my first test run on the X-Winder as well. So that you'll be able to see that later on in the video. So X-Winder is a company located in the US and they shipped me out their uh, 4X23 model. So you'll be able to go four axes, so you can just wind a mandrel on its uh, two-dimensional shape, but you'll be able to wound it around the uh, curved ends of the mandrels as well if you want to. So everything is comes into one big box. You get everything that you need except for the long bars. Uh, probably they're doing this because of first shipping, because it would be a very big package due to the, the long bars that you'll be having along the uh, X-Winder. And the second thing is you can just buy it as long as you want. And most of the long bars can be found on eBay um, and any like local websites or local shops you can buy them at. They just have some uh, technical drawings about what you should take of uh, dimensions of the long bars because you will have to put the um, T-slots in and the carriage uh, needs uh, some good support to have the wheels going all along uh, these long bars. So I bought mine locally here in Belgium and I'm just assembling everything. The assembly is pretty easy. It's just like assembling um, Lego, but for adults. <laughs> so um, here I'm just inserting the, uh, the stop for the uh, to position the carriage to the zero. So here are some parts uh, ready for assembling everything and making like good base to build the rest of the carriage on. So here's the electronical part. I'll talk a bit more about that later on in the video. Um, but it's, it's pretty easy. So um, everybody sh should be able to assemble a machine like this. If you have like a bit of technical um, backgrounds or if you like to play with Lego. <laughs> so um, here is the um, the carriage, uh, a part of the carriage to take the filament on. So the cool thing about filament winding is you can wind everything around tubes. So you could do carbon fiber, you could do Kevlar, I'm just thinking about flax, fiberglass. Uh, everything that you want to can be wound around uh, tubes. So that's the coolest thing about, about this technique. Um, so here is the delivery head with the carriage. So it's a, I would say it's a pretty, pretty like complex part, but it's very satisfy satisfying to assemble everything together and get like results on the spot. I would say this build took me around uh, six to eight hours. I did it in multiple days, um, but it's pretty easy. And here, here's a bit more about the uh, electronical parts of the assembly. So I was pretty happy that I didn't have to do all the wirement and soldering and stuff like that. So that's the coolest thing about this is that everything comes, it's plug and play and you can just put the cables in and the motors will work. Um, all the plans are on their website as well and you get all of this included into, uh, into the package and the software to do everything of the winding. So I just had to do a bit of adjustments. Like you could see, I've just uh, hand sawed uh, a piece of metal out. Uh, it's alumi aluminum out of the rails because it was sticking out and was in the way for the wheels. So here I know I just put the belt the way around. So I've modified that at the end, um, but you can just cut it to length. This is also included in the package. So here I'm just plugging it in, hoping I don't see sparks and, and smoke coming out of the machines, but everything was perfect. Then you just have to install the software. And I have to say it's pretty intimidating to see the software, but it's pretty easy because you just had a few steps to follow. You put everything of the parameters into it, like the filament width, um, dimension of the tube, and then it's just like start the machine, put the fibers, through the uh, delivery head. So here you can see I switched to the two axis uh, delivery head here uh, because I want to start with the, the basics and then just, I have the upgrades to go to the four axis and then go a bit more complex. So here, an important thing, uh, you'll see the uh, filament winding is pretty rich in resin. So um, 
Here is the reason I forgot to add two rubber bands around the scraper that will scrape off excess resin. So that's why on the first run I was, uh, <laughs> I would say it's, it's very resin rich uh, for the parts. So this is the first part I've made, so um, fully on video, so no hidden secret, secrets here. Um, there are some upgrades that can be done that I found out after this. Uh, first of all was the scraper, then you can tension the fibers a bit more, choose the right mandrels. But I'll go through all of these steps into future videos if you guys are interested in it. So leave a comment down below if you're interested in more videos about the X-Winder. And also leave like comments with stuff I could do, like to integrate these tubes into projects that will come later on on this channel. So everything cured. Um, I was using uh, the uh, laminating epoxy from Easy Composites. So that will also be something to try out if uh, an infusion resin would be better or other types of resins. So if you have a lot of knowledge in filament winding and things like that, please help me out in the comments below because every uh, piece of advice is um, appreciated. So the shrink tape was removed. They can also be used, uh, bought on Easy Composites, the filament as well. They have Kevlar and carbon fiber. And then it's just a matter of removing everything. So I know it's a bit quick through this video to explain you how the filament went, uh, but I think it was more about the build, the build of the X Winder in this video, and like the first test run of what you can expect to get from like I would say this is like a bad piece, but I think it's still stunning how it comes out. So um, I'm just removing everything from the insides, and I'll go through some details in future videos about how to prepare your mandrels, what mandrels to use, and and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in it, so here I've removed it. After that. Um, you can see here like the the advantage on winding pieces on a, a filament winding machine is that you get perfect inner dimensions and the outer dimension can be calculated so the tubes are pretty accurate so after sanding this is how the um, I would call it the rod came out of the uh, of the mandrel and I think it's pretty good looking and uh, this is a 45 degree you can choose the different angles so it'll be pretty fun to to start testing this machine out so if you like this video leave a comment down below subscribe uh, share it with your friends and let me know what future videos i should tackle with this machine thanks for watching